up, fish tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dawson's Fish Tanks over at Steve's house doing Steve's Fish Tanks. What's up, guys? What's up, big man? So, yeah. Steve called me like 10 minutes ago or whatever and was like, yo, dude, you gotta come over here, you gotta film me messing with this new tank. So, today we're gonna talk about basically getting a used tank, what to look for, the benefits of getting a used tank, and how to spray paint the back of it, which is something I've actually never done. So, it's brand new for me too, but I've read about it. Should be cool. Steve obviously rocking the UK shirt. Go Cats. Go Cats. So, everyone yelled at me for talking over Steve in the last video, so I'm going to be quiet and let him talk. You know what, Dustin? Haters going to hate. Oh, dude, I'm fine with it. But, All right, here's uh, what's up. You got a used tank. Where'd you get the used tank? So, Craigslist. It's the only place to get them. You do, if you watch long enough, you'll find what you want. So, don't settle. Don't settle early. Find, know what price you want to pay. Know what tank you want. I wanted a bow front. This is a 72 gallon bow front. How long did you wait for the tank? I watched Craigslist for about four weeks. I checked every couple days really? and I got this. And this is a 72? 100 bucks for a 72 gallon bow tank with a 48 inch light, a uh, aqua clear filter, some gravel, and of course this castle. Yeah, great. Which is, getting, which is which we're getting completely out of here. <laughs> completely gone. So the big blemish on this tank is this. Now, Steve is a straight up pro at this. I have never, I have fixed tanks before, but not this. And this is a structurally imperative is what the term I think you used. It's, and, and it's structurally essential. Essential. It's, essential. It's, it's, these cross braces are made for a reason. They're not just to hang the lights, they're not just to look pretty. I had a buddy that had a 55 with this broke. He filled it up, he used it forever, it lasted for about a year, and finally it split out the top. Oh god. Yeah, spilled 55 gallons right on his floor. That sucks. So this is how you fix it. You. Well, this is a whole this Steve, is a patent Steve. Where this did you get a, this piece of metal? This is a two inch piece of stock aluminum. I got it Lowe's. Where do you get it in Lowe's? Like uh, in what just, section? There's just, just a little metal them. section there. You can get little stock pieces of, of metal and this is just aluminum. It's lightweight. Okay. I cut it with a hacksaw. I only cut it from one end. I measured exactly how wide I need it for this for this distance and then I bent it at, at a 90 degree angle at both ends. How'd with you the bend vise. it? I bent, bent it okay. with the vise. I just strapped it in the vise and just bent it down until it's about nice. 90 degrees. Dropping knowledge. So then pop it on and I can actually cut this piece of plastic off, because once the because once the tank fills up with water, it'll actually stretch a little bit, and this will be perfectly tight. But so you, you make that pretty snug, huh? Yeah, you have to measure it almost exactly. It's, it's it requires a lot of accuracy. This this is uh, the second time he's done that. You did it on your 55 as My well. My 55 still got it. Okay. It's been perfect. All right. And so it's not noticeable once you fill the tank up. If you it, it really it, isn't. No yeah, one, that, no that's, one ever notices on my. 55. That's a good point, bro. This is a good looking tank, dude. It's gonna be a hundred bucks. Okay. With the stand. Hundred, a little over a hundred bucks. With the stand? It didn't come with the stand. It okay. came with a light, a filter. Hey, hey, hey we'll take a it. Crappy castle. Nice. So with the castle. <laughs> oh, you're not using right. that background, dude. Right. That's just... so. Grow real plants. Yeah, Don't yeah. use a picture of plants. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. Agreed. All right. So let's get this going. Um, I want to say that definitely, when you're getting into the hobby or you're trying to upgrade. This is this is the way to do it. Hold on, let's back up on this. Steve had to negotiate this fish tank in something that his wife wanted purchased. That's very good. <laughs> a lot of people don't catch that. Like That's his true. wife wanted a new china cabinet and like a table, and he was like, "All right, well, I'm getting a new fish tank." Like you have to you have to always be on your toes, guys. You have to be very intelligent and, and plan it out with your wives and negotiate fish tanks into things that they want to purchase. And, I'm getting good at that, obviously. Exactly. So Steve. All right, so Steve is taping this off. What are you what are you doing here, dude? Well, you know, I don't want any of the spray paint to get on the glass anywhere else. Now the type of spray paint I got was like a multi-surface spray paint. It's for wood, metal, pretty much any surface. It's gonna lock on to. And again, we've never done this. I I've never done this we've before. Never He's this never before. done this before. Spray so anybody paint. with any advice or whatever, personally, if it were me doing, I wouldn't take the time to tape that off. I just tape a couple of strips and go. But Steve is precise. The man's a doctor. You know, I got a He's, method. he's I got, got a method. method. He's got a plan. I don't. I, you know, everybody's got their own way of doing it. But. Uh, He's taping it off and this is just paint. show the this spray paint painter's real tape. quick and this is just painter's tape. Painter's tape. Yep. So the, hold on, let's grab your spray paint here. Did you? How'd you hear about what to use? Is this is this recommended to you by anybody or anything? Uh, or the multi-surface paint at Lowe's. Okay. And this cost you about how much? Uh, less than five bucks. Okay. So it's cheap. Whatever. It's gonna get the job done. Yeah. By the way, I gave Steve one of my orchids. 
and he got that sucker back to like just amazing beautiful it's not just about aquarium plants dude's got mad game with some plants so i should uh, show that sometime but uh <laughs> yeah dude all right so yeah this is what we're doing steve is going to continue to tape dude if it gets on the bottom it doesn't matter that's uh, true yeah the top thing all right yeah. so the other thing i want to talk about use plants is sometimes use plant use use, use tanks. tanks use tanks sometimes use tanks leak oh so yeah, yeah i filled this in my garage with water for an entire week yeah i can't believe we overlooked that 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 can't be understated always fill up a used tank first it Once seems like you know what i like a waste of water or whatever and until it breaks yeah, once they break, you can't fix them. I'm sorry, some small tanks sometimes, but big tanks, we've got a 125 that leaks, and it'll never... Yeah, he's never. got... you got a four-foot wide 150 that's just at our buddy Kurt's house that just doesn't... It's never going to hold uh, water. Anymore. Yeah, never going to hold water. It's been patched and patched and patched. So, as we watch Steve tape this sucker up, it's my the great honor to hand him the nice spray paint. Show us how it works, dude. The other nice things about these used tanks. Oh, is the crushed him in the head with the can. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Is the fact that you can get a lot of good gear. I got an aqua clear filter and a light with this. So it was a good deal. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what you got. How are you with this? Did you clean the surface at all, or are you just rolling? I didn't. You probably could. Whatever. We'll see how it goes. Just paint it dark. Paint it let's dark. See what it looks Black. like. So here's how you do it. Let's try it. Let's get that off there. All right, let's go time. Moment is in. Let's do it. Multi-surface tank. I'm gonna have to do a few layers. I know this isn't that gonna be a one-layer deal. You know, and I've never done this, and it is a pain when the, the, the uh, things come off the back. Yeah, I want a permanent background. I don't want to mess with stuff. <laughs> you're going black, huh? That's I'm going, it. Once you go black. Hey, once you go black, you're in. Yeah, you're in there. So. That's really how you do it. Guys, you don't need to see how to spray paint. I'm sure you can figure it out. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do this whole back. I'm going to do a couple coats. I don't think one coat's going to do it. Next video, we're hey, give the, what are we going to put in there, bro? Show a shout out to the Oh, to yeah. The pond, By the man. way, the pond is still dominating. What are you putting in the 72, bro? Uh, discus, man. Ah, that's it.